Um, when I started, I was only doing digital for many years, and uh, I guess at some point I couldn't work anymore. Like um, I wasn't inspired. I just I really wanted to start using analog, but I couldn't afford a studio at the moment, so I was like buying machines, like like little by little, and until um, I had enough to actually make a record. But to me, uh, I prefer analog just because it, it, it gives me more uh, inspiration somehow, right now, like this moment in my life. But I, I think it doesn't matter, it's just like, depends on you, really. Analog stuff is uh, very easily accessible as an instrument. So I have this mini moke, but you have everything under control. You don't need to click somewhere. You don't have a step between what you want, you can just touch the button and turn it and then it's, you know, like on a piano you press the key and it, there's a sound. That's, that's maybe more the thing, no? It's more about interfacing, that's about the sound. Because I'm sure that kind of digital synth that could sound equally good, it's just like, especially on stage, you don't want too complicated instruments. You want you, you, we are two people, we need to divide our attention and our energy on how to, especially because we improvise on stage, we don't have don't play pretty the bad stuff. So we need to have easy, good sounding, accessible instruments. And for example, the minimum is just a scene full of sweet spots. Basically, you can't go very wrong. It's diverse enough yeah. for you, no? Yeah. I mean, there is, the, I, I, I use my, my, uh, my, my laptop with Ableton running as a side drag. I mean, I need some reverb and I don't want to have all, I don't want to carry around like spring reverbs with me. So I use it because it's just easy. It's light, lightweight and it's, the, it's the, the side part of it. It's just the confetti on top, right? I was a um, major jazz when I was in university. And I always into improvisation, the, de the idea of jazz improvisation. And I, I found myself, Alan looks in the size really same kind of uh, vibes. I can do, so like I can touch and just explore, explore myself just with knob and fader and everything. With software, this just stuff. I have to think before I move right, right? I, okay, I, I thinking about this sound, and I'm gonna make this sound, this one, this one, but. And with hardware, analog thing, I don't need to think. Uh, well, we have a lot of vintage style analog synths, and they're just really, uh, what do you say? Uh, so okay, you mean, like you can touch the buttons, you know, and you will immediately hear what what it's doing. And yeah, it's a more uh, intuitive, I think, than when yeah you you make uh, music on a computer. It's different for me. Uh, it started with analog, and later on, I learned how to make music on the computer. Yeah. Um, mostly for people, it's the other way around. But for me, it was first analog um, because I just like to touch the buttons and see what's come what comes out and. Um, that way it's really intuitive and you can just hear, okay, I like this, let's record it. Instead of really think about what you really want and to create this on the computer. So for me, um, yeah, I really like analog, but I, of course, like digital too. I, I like both. I think for, for me, the reason why I used both is that I already, when I was experimenting with the analog gear, I felt like if I had 100% analog, set up or if I would have 100% digital set up it would somehow this may be very esoteric theory but I think it sounds more three-dimensional when you mix analog and digital it creates kind of like a, like a more three-dimensional sound so that's why I like like to always have digital and analog together Yeah, like for my opinion, like analog and then digital in all the mean is same things. <laughs> yeah, like moon and sun. So yeah, the has to exist like both things. Yeah, maybe like the sun is more warmer and like really like good. But moon 
in the night is a bit cold, but still really beautiful. The analog and digital is like has to exist in the same world. That's why no compare, like both is really loving things. Yeah, has to always develop, also has to always back in like back to to find beautiful. So yeah, so I'm really appreciate for existing two things.